FBG Duck was one of the biggest GD rappers in Chicago. He hopped into the drill scene back when it was just kicking off, but never blew up like Keith and Dirk since he was a GD. In 2020, he was making moves to leave the streets behind and focus on music, but then he was tragically gunned down in broad daylight. This is the wild story of FBG Duck. Duck grew up on the south side of Chicago in the low end. His dad got hit with a 20 year sentence when Duck was three years old, so he ended up living with his grandma. Duck had a huge extended family, and sometimes there would be up to 15 people staying at his grandma's crib. Duck told DJ Vlad that he was a bad kid who always got in trouble for fighting his cousins. He grew up around violence and started losing his family and friends at a young age, and he didn't know how to deal with it. He told Vlad, I was a kid, so I couldn't take it out on who I wanted to, so I just took it out on a lot of other motherfuckers. His big brother, FBG Brick, was from STL EBT, and Duck started repping them as a teenager. He was known in the streets as a fighter, and allegedly even slid into O Block and put hands on people over there. Around 2009, Duck became homies with a dude from STL named Tuka. He told Vlad that him and Tuka pretty much spent every day together. In 2011, Tuka hopped on social media and dissed someone from TYMB who just got killed. Dudes from TYMB and O Block allegedly caught Tuka at a bus stop later. They asked him when the next bus was coming, and when Tuka looked at his watch, they started dumping shots. Tuka's murder sparked a deadly war between 600 O Block and STL EBT that's still going on today. After he died, a BD named Odie Perry allegedly got killed by a girl from STL EBT named KI. Tuka and KI was close, and she allegedly shot OD because he was part of the Tuka hit. After he lost his best friend, Duck and his boy Dutchie started FBG, aka Flyboy Gang. And around the same time, his homie Billionaire Black got Duck into rapping. He started dropping tracks in 2011, but was still heavy in the streets. According to rumors, Duck started sliding into op hoods and tried to get back for Tuka's murder. He allegedly hit five dudes and shot at a lot more, but that ain't been confirmed. While he was putting in work in the streets, Duck was also grinding with rap. The BDs was popping off in the industry after Chief Keith blew up, but Duck was building a buzz for the GDs too. The only other GD rapper who was making waves back then was Lil Jojo. Jojo claimed a GD set called Brick Squad, but he was cool with Lil Reese and Lil Durk because they grew up together. But after Durk dropped L's anthem and said, Brick Squad, I say fuck him, we'll go roll with him so it's fuck him. Jojo hopped in the booth and dropped a remix to Keith's track every day called BDK 300K. Jojo dissed all black disciples and also sent shots at his old homie too. One bar said, Dirk say Brick Squad, so I can't wait to catch him. Squeeze his 50, now they got him on the stretcher. After BDK blew up in the city, Jojo kept it pushing with tracks like Tied Up and a remix of Yo Gotti's song, I Got That Sack. He was building a big buzz for the GDs and letting everyone know that they could pop off in the rap game too. But in September 2012, Jojo was killed after he gave the ops the drop on his exact location. On September 4th, Jojo was sending shots at Lil Reese on social media after he spotted him earlier in the day. He tweeted, laugh my ass off, I'm on 069, stop the f flexing, and let everyone know where to find him. Unfortunately, the ops slid on him and Jojo was dead just a couple hours later. After Jojo died, Duck had to put on even harder for the GDs. He was building an audience online and in the city, but still had both feet in the trenches. And in June 2013, he got shot in the leg. It ain't clear who tried to take him out, but Duck tweeted, I'm good everybody, I only took a leg shot. Duck told DJ Vlad he got shot in the ankle too. He was walking out of a liquor store when a dude came up from behind him and started letting off shots. Duck recovered from the leg shots pretty quickly, but then his ex-girlfriend stabbed him in the stomach. Apparently, they was having a fight and Duck ended up slapping her in the face, so she grabbed a knife and stabbed him. The knife actually went into Duck's bowels, which could have killed him. He told Vlad he would have killed her on the spot but his brother wouldn't hand him his gun. In 2017, Duck suffered another loss when his brother, FBG Brick, and cousin Kobe Mack both got killed on the same day. Duck told DJ Vlad when he pulled up to the scene and saw his brother and cousin dead, he had an automatic breakdown. No one was ever arrested for the murders, but rumors say C Murder from O Block was involved. After Brick and Kobe Mack died, Duck went even harder with the music. In 2018, he finally broke into the mainstream with the track Slide. He already had a fan base in Chicago, but this track put him on a map outside the city. It racked up almost 70 million views on YouTube and ended up being his hottest song. Then, 21 Savage hopped on the remix and made it even more viral. Duck signed a deal with Sony Records after Sly popped off. Rumors said the deal was worth $1.7 million, but Duck told DJ Vlad it was even more than that. Duck was known for dissing ops on records, but in 2019, he dropped the track Chicago Legends where he shouted out dudes from both sides who had died. 
The track starts off with him rapping about dudes like Lil Jojo and Lil Mark. Then Duck switched it up and gave some respect to the other side. He raps, okay, enough with the bro ties. Now nah, I ain't crossing over, but I'm not a bow tie. But I made this track to be fair. It's only right that I talk about both sides. And shouted out Dirk's cousin Nooski, who was killed in 2014, Chief's cousin Fredo Santana, and LA Capone from 600. Fans thought Duck might be easing off all the distance. But then, Mimo 600 and King Von dropped the track exposing me. Von said, Yo, homie died, I'm smoking that. I'm tired of smelling Tuka and Lil Mark, and I'm tired of scrap. Then Mimo did Tuka too with, Off that Zico, Tuka, and that Fats, we gon' put in work. Sneaky talking, saying this and that, just gon' get a murk. Duck and Ruga clap back and remix the track, dissing a ton of dead ops. Duck said, he got caught in traffic, Waldo ain't get to finish his status. He on the internet laughing, capping, then got caught without it. F*** your homie, he dead. He heard what I said. F*** your Royd, f*** OD, f*** D thing, and f*** Tirehead. Later in the track, he went and dissed Mimo's brother Lil Steve and said, These n***s mentioning Tuka, I'll f*** around send you to meet him. I don't got my Glock when I see an op, on bro, I'ma beat him. I'm smoking Lil Steve, can't breathe, thinking it's over. I wish I was right there when Lil Boo got slumped, I would've ran his shit over. Duck was already one of O Block's top ops, and dissing they dead homies just made the target on his back even bigger. In July 2020, he dropped the track Dead where he took more shots at O Block, and on the hook, he said, Made Chicago legends, shit that was just about business. Said I wasn't gonna diss the dead, and okay, I did it. But T Roy and OD, them dead. It looked like Duck was gonna be the next drill rapper to make it big in the industry. He had a new record deal, his streaming numbers was up, and people outside of Chicago was finally paying attention. But on August 4th, 2020, he was tragically murdered in broad daylight. Duck was out shopping with his girl in the Gold Coast neighborhood, which is one of the wealthiest and safest areas in the city. While they was walking down the street, two cars pulled up, and four shooters hopped out and started dumping shots. Duck got hit in the chest and neck, and unfortunately, died later that day. As soon as the news broke, rumors started flying that dudes from O Block was behind the hit. At first, the rumors ain't had no evidence to back them up. But in October 2021, the Chicago police arrested five dudes from O Block for Duck's murder. C Thang, C Murder, Moolwop, Los, and Zell Money were all named in the Rico indictment. But Zell Money took his own life a couple of months before the news broke. Rico cases are damn near impossible to beat, and other dudes from O Block could get wrapped up in it too. The trial ain't scheduled to start till fall 2023, so it'll be a minute before we know what kind of evidence the feds have against him. After he died, the media tried to paint Duck as just a violent dude who raps about killing people. But people who knew him said that's not the case. He was known for giving back to the community and donating to schools. He also hosted back to school drives and encouraged kids to get educated. A few months before he got killed, Duck joined the 2020 Vision Campaign and spoke against violence in Chicago. An activist named Bo Deal said he wanted to clean his act up for the kids. A few months ago, he was saying that he was going to stop putting guns in his videos. He was trying to change. It's just hard when you grow up in this environment. Duck's death was a tragedy, but he also knew that staying in Chicago could get him killed. Back in 2017, he told DJ Vlad that he thought about death every day. And I mean, of course, I know motherfuckers want to kill me. I'm a very disrespectful person. I know what I did in my lifetime. Rest in peace to FBG Duck.